Today, I am speaking with Jason Smith of Liquidware, and Liquidware is one of our strategic partners in the marketplace. And Jason Smith, if you would please, for our audience today, um, tell just very briefly um, what Liquidware Solution is. Sure. Thanks, Renee. Thanks for in inviting me to, uh, to have this opportunity with you guys. Uh, Liquidware has a suite of solutions that has an adaptive workspace management uh, methodology in mind. And that suite of solutions will take a, uh, a user and, and an administrator through all the logical steps of a desktop transformation, uh, whether they're going to a new version of, of Windows or whether they're going to a new platform such as virtual desktop computing. Uh, physical, virtual, it doesn't matter. It will help uh, transition that user and also give the administrator logical steps to be able to track the progress of that user along the way, knowing user experience with our solution known as Stratosphere UX, uh, being able to port the user profile over through seamless, um, through a seamless transition to the cloud and then to pull back down on-prem or keep it in the cloud if you wish with Profile Unity. So the user loses none of their user state as they move across platforms and they have a zero downtime experience. And then we also provide the ability to deliver applications through Flex app that can be hosted in the cloud or on-prem to where they're decoupled from the base image. So it makes it easier to get these new environments up and running faster because you have the applications that the users need to be productive already in the environment. So Jason, is that what makes the, the Stratosphere UX uh, a unique solution in the marketplace? Stratosphere is unique and it, it's, the, it's the place that we have the best integration with Stratodesk because it provides end-to-end -end metrics of the user experience no matter what platform the user is on. Mm -hmm. So if the user has been on physical desktops and they're transitioning into a virtual desktop with an endpoint that's provided by Stratodesk, whether that's you know um, the, the Stratodesk software uh, running on a, a repurposed PC or on something like a Raspberry Pi. Um, Stratosphere actually has an agent that will monitor that end user experience on that endpoint. So instead of just knowing the virtual desktop experience that's in the cloud, so Citrix is hosted in the cloud, also WVD and also um, uh, VMware View, Horizon View, for example, just knowing that piece uh, might be good, but you don't know the first mile, the first mile of connectivity to wherever that user is to that virtual desktop computing experience. And Stratosphere monitors that first mile of connectivity because we have an agent that's purpose built for Stratodesk. So we know all the metrics from that end user device, how much resources are in use, and also what bandwidth they're experiencing, um, how intensive is that um, session with the user. And we correlate it with the other part that we know, running in the uh, virtual desktop environment, you give you a comprehensive end-to-end -end user experience, um, almost like no other. There's very few people in there that do that end-to-end -end user experience, knowing the first mile as well as the desktop, uh, the virtual desktop environment itself. So why did this combination of the, the Stratodesk no-touch and the Liquidware uh, Stratosphere UX be so integral to the remote from home, you know, the, the epidemic were we're seeing now in this need for remote remote workers? Well, um, I, I think that we've seen a lot of people come up with a, a variety of ways to work from home. Right. They may have, uh, administrators may have done something as simple as giving a, uh, a VPN to the end user so they can get to their files and then just relying on whatever they had at home. Maybe it was their laptop that they went home with. Maybe it was their kid's PC <laughs> that they decided they were going to have to use on short notice. Or maybe it was that they went out to Best Buy or someone like that, a big box store, and bought a laptop, and um, and and then connecting through the VPN. Or ideally, we believe the most seamless way to have to ensure user productivity is there. The apps that the users need is to give them a virtual desktop environment experience in the cloud. So that would be through a solution like Citrix or VMware or Amazon Workspaces, anything like that, and then making sure that the endpoint is actually monitored as well. So the, the, the beauty about us working together and do, doing that is that Stratodesk can easily provide the level playing field that we know what the endpoint is. And I don't mean to speak for you guys, but from your reputation, I know that, that you're great for having that zero touch 
um, endpoint that can be um, that can be rolled out by an administrator and, and centrally controlled where they where they don't have to touch it for managing and Stratosphere still knows what that endpoint is doing. They know whether the user is uh, they can even gauge whether the user is actually being productive in their workday to a degree um, by not only knowing the end user experience but knowing what applications that they've opened in the virtual desktop environment and then we can start to gauge well you know 40% of their day they have a line of productivity applications open so we have a pretty good rule of thumb that they are being fairly active because they're also on the phone part of the time they're going to lunch part of the time um, they may be working in you know pen and paper the rest of the time so you start to get a really good picture of not only the user experience at home but whether or not that user is productive and that's some of the reports that we've actually added lately um, going back to the first of May of this year from March to, to May, we were asked and request by our customer base to add things that would help um, know what the work from home experience is or to troubleshoot it easier as well. A user productivity report is one that we added. Okay. We actually added knowing what the uh, uh, Wi-Fi stats, knowing how the user is connected on that first mile so we can tell at a glance in our reports how, and, and we can gauge and give an estimate how close that user might be to their Wi-Fi access point because that can be detrimental as they get further and further away to their user experience, as you, as you would guess. Huh. Um, we've also added uh, things in like their, their login process and things like that. So we can look at how long it's taken them to log on and no matter what the devices that they're on and that adds into the user experience. So, so how's demand for, for Stratosphere UX since you've got, you know, all this, all these companies now that have made the switch to remote work, I would assume you are a very busy man. Well, that's a good question. And uh, we, we have been quite busy. Um, if, I, if I look back at mid-March, when a lot of, of organizations decided, look, we've got to either come up with a plan for users to work from home or expand our um, current environment to allow users to work from home, that's when things started to really um, – start to get busy for us because people were calling us, how can you help? And we were able to answer the call because this is a business that we've been in all along is helping users transition or go to that next desktop and provide that adaptive desktop. So we had a variety of different use cases. Um, one of them I can say was uh, the, the Washington uh, Metro transportation. They had a Citrix environment. They decided, and we were already in there on some of their, uh, on those seats but they decided that all of their administrative staff needed to go work from home and they added a, uh, several thousand users to their Citrix environment. Whereas those people had, they were not part of the Citrix environment before they were on physical desktops. Mm -hmm. So they already used profile unity and um, they were able to save the, the profiles at log off. So when they sent users to work from home and they added them to the Citrix environment as a remote way to have a standardized desktop, they immediately had the user profile they recognized they had the applications in the environment that, that were needed for them to be productive, and then they knew the user experience through Stratosphere. So that's that's one quick use case. Um, another one um, is uh, uh, someone contacted us, and, and they were looking to roll out a net new virtual desktop environment, and this was with uh, Amazon Workspaces. So oh. we were able to help transition them easily to an Amazon Workspaces environment to be able to do that, um, to be able to harvest anything, any user data from their physical devices to where as they transition to Amazon workspaces. And then we saw a mix too. We saw um, that some organizations had Citrix, but they said, you know what, this use case that we have, maybe we want Amazon workspaces for that. And they were also looking at a uh, newer technology or a later technology known as Microsoft WVD. And how can we coexist that without, we don't want to scrap the, the Citrix um, method that has been proven for so long, but we want to append to that and give users a quick desktop to be able to log on. So we were able to coexist those and allow users to log off of one, log on to the other, or to uh, the administrator to opt for which desktop was going to be the best. And we monitor their user experience and their progress all along the way. And we can prove out this desktop is actually better for that uh, user than the other desktop or vice versa, because we know we baseline the user experience with Stratosphere. Right. So Jason, what you're describing to me just makes the solution sound like it's really ideal for remote work. It's, it's something like you mentioned, you've been doing this really all along and, and now this is the perfect opportunity 
um, for, for those customers who suddenly find themselves having to take, you know, thousands of employees and, and put them elsewhere or have them work remote from home. So your, your solution is ideal for that, as is ours. So that's really interesting. Um, so I know it's difficult to see, you know, this massive shift. In, in the way people work and, and how this work will, will really, or this shift will impact future work. But what are some lessons, maybe some takeaways, trends that we can expect to see become maybe the mainstay in, in work kind of going forward and, and how will liquidware meet the, the demands of that new work environment for the future? What are some of those, those things you're seeing that you go, ah, you know, we got this, this is something that right. we be able to hone in on and do. We, we saw, it's a great, great follow-up question to the previous one, because we saw the use cases out there is some of our customers, and I'm sure you did too, some of your customers were already prepared for this. They just simply needed to scale up in some ways, add licenses here for, for more users to be able to, to take advantage of these things, because we were doing this, you know, on-prem inside, and these technologies are perfect for remote work as well. So those that already had something in place that could be scaled up uh, for this use case were prepared. And they were the ones that almost, some of our customers almost didn't miss a beat. I mean, they simply added licenses and we were able to do that. And their users were able to shift from a, a Wednesday or Thursday where they went to home to a, yeah, there was a couple of days down where they scratched their head. But on Monday, they literally were told, log into this system, you'll have all the apps that you need. So some of them were prepared, but, uh, and then some of them were caught totally off guard. We heard use cases of companies being shut down for a month at a time where they just thought, well, this thing won't go on forever. And as it went on forever, we did get the call from some of those, look, we've, we've sent users to go work from home two weeks ago. And uh, we told them just to leave the building and they did not even leave with their laptop. And their laptop had user authored data on it, you know, things they'd created, they weren't even using file shares. So that's the extreme opposite case where we saw organizations, they weren't prepared for any of this and they didn't, they weren't allowing any of their users to go back into the building or anything. And, and we, we spoke to them about ways that we could help. Um, Profile Unity can be really, really helpful if you already have the agent on the end device, but if you never put the agent on the end device, then it, it can't help a lot. There are ways to get that out there, to roll it out with SCCM and other things, but there's a small touch um, in, in that case. And what we recommend them to do, those that were called totally unprepared, uh, this was a, a, a national, an international oil company, a really, really wow. large company out in the Midwest that, uh, that, that did this. We suggested a plan of action where uh, over the next three or four days, they had employees come back in um, scheduled just a few at a time to go into the building to get their PCs and and then to take them home and then to take the next steps to where we could get them into the fold, get them uh, centrally managed in that regard. So the lesson learned there is so two extremes there. So one of them was seamlessly prepared and the other one wasn't prepared at all. And we had to do quite a few steps to introduce them to a new virtual desktop infrastructure and then to start getting users logged on. But you need to be prepared and you need to have, I promise this adaptive workspace management moniker goes back over a year with us, but it's the yeah. business we've been in for over a decade. Um, you need to keep your organization adaptive because if you have certain things in place, even a, a, a base virtual desktop environment, no matter the vendor, um, you have the footprint to be able to start to burst scale. And especially with these cloud technologies, we saw that many of these organizations, they were able to burst scale their VDI environments without the administrator even having to step back into the offices themselves. So they subscribe to, to more uh, Microsoft Azure uh, compute and, and uh, our Google or Amazon, and then they were able to add the servers there that they needed in the infrastructure, and they were able to spin up the new machines and then log on. So some of them were right, what we found is most customers were right in the middle because we already are known in this virtual desktop industry. So we were able to help many of them just scale up uh, those environments and they, they can also scale down. So what's great about this, industry moved to a subscription based model for software, right? You can sign up for as little as usually a year. I mean, they, there are month to month models, but usually the, the sweet spot is a year. So if you burst scale your licenses for a year and you don't need them all come the, the 12 month period, you can scale back and you can always be ready to go. 
But the lesson learned there is to always have an environment of such that can be burst scaled up and can come back down for when you don't need it. Because a lot of this work from home, we do believe is here to stay. Um, but we do believe that we'll get over the hill at some point and office and, and, and the, and the face to face time in office experience is not going to be able to re be replaced by many industries. Agreed. I, I think that, you know, companies, if they didn't have it before, they really do need to have a work from home strategy, a remote work strategy. And, and what you just described is, is case in point, right? You've got this large oil company and, and so hopefully the, the end to that story is good. They're all, they're prepared now. They, they're more prepared than they were then for sure. Right. Okay. So, so what are a few of the key ways that Stratadesk software has helped dedicated Stratosphere UX users navigate this change and shift to the remote work? And just a couple of, a couple of key things. Right. So the, I think one of the big challenges in VDI and we've seen it for years is that the, there's no standardized endpoint mm -hmm. and Stratadesk really, in my opinion, gives, uh, gives your customers or in our joint customers, a standardized endpoint um, and a manageable experience that's centrally managed. There's zero touch of the endpoint, but it's centrally managed and you can roll this out. You can update the endpoint. You can have a very lightweight OS um, in there that um, the, the license and the tax on it is not a double windows tax, right? It's, right. it's, 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 it's you're, you're not having to pay uh, Microsoft twice because the uh, Stratadesk license is really efficient in that way, uh, leveraging Linux, right? Mm -hmm. at, at its heart. So you have that standardized endpoint with the, the desktop icons that can be dropped off by the administrator configured within Stratadesk, the desktop icons that they need to do their task, whether that is the, the Citrix client uh, that has been turned on and activated in that environment or VMware or any other virtual desktop environment. So they, they everything's standardized at the endpoint instead of having um, laptops that you had sent home, you could have Stratadesk on that as well. Uh, there's methods in there to have that on there, even as a walled partition in there or a dual boot system, I believe. So you could have, um, you could have, and for legal reasons and compliance reasons, this is just smart to have your work life separated from your home life. And I believe that Stratadesk gives a, a, a quite uh, elegant and, and, and really a significant answer to that challenge in the industry. Thank you. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I think we do that quite well. And uh, I think the partnership with, with Liquidware and, and the, Stratos, the Stratosphere UX, really, I think we've set up our, our customers uh, for, for success. And especially with this crisis and, and like you were mentioning earlier, you know, we, we don't see an end in sight to this. And, and so um, again, having our customers prepared, giving them all the tools that they need and the strategy going forward is going to really keep them in business and thriving, not just surviving. So that's yeah. really what, what I think we're, we're here and why, why we love what we do because we're able to make a difference. So Certainly. thank you so much for uh, your partnership with us. If customers are interested in knowing more information about how we've worked together in the past, you can just Google Stratadesk with Stratosphere or Liquidware. Oh, You'll I see the press release. That. that just kind of happened. Yeah, that just kind of happened, didn't it, right? Right, because they say great minds think alike. They so. do, right. If they can take a look at that. You can look at the Stratadesk UI because in there, there's a, our agent can be activated in there. And then um, as long as you've got a Stratosphere uh, of virtual appliance, it'll start reporting back immediately. And we've worked out, all, we've done all the hard work for joint customers and wow. they can be up and running in very short order. Exactly. Thanks for having us on. We deeply appreciate our Alliance partnership with Stratadesk and for this opportunity as well. And, and together helping customers, uh, have business continuity has been a joy. You know, people look at us like, you must be doing really good business. Yes, we're doing okay, but there's more joy that has come out of it to know that we're actually helping uh, keep the economic uh, machine rolling between us. Um, thank you for taking time to, to speak with me today. Thank you.